In this short video, we'll introduce arithmetic and logical instructions. Suppose we have three signed variables, x, y, and z. This C statement calculates the sum of x and y and saves the results in z. Assume the value of x, y, and z is in register R0, R1, and R2 respectively. How to implement this C statement in assembly? This is the implementation by using an add instruction. The add instruction takes three operands. The first operand is the destination register. The other two are source operands. What's the assembly implementation if variable x, y, and z are declared as unsigned integers? The answer is the same. If unsigned integers are represented in two's complement, adding two signed integers works exactly in the same way as adding two unsigned integers. Modern microcontrollers use two's complement to represent signed integers. Therefore, the add instruction works for both signed add and unsigned add. What's the equivalent assembly implementation if variable x, y, and z are stored in memory instead of in register? Here is the implementation. Software needs to load x and y from the memory and save them into registers. Then calculate the sum and finally save the sum to the memory. We have shown the add instruction. Here we show a few commonly used arithmetic instructions. We have instructions for add, subtract, multiply, sign divide, and unsigned divide. For two's complement, sign divide and unsign divide work differently, and thus we have two separate divide instructions. For multiply, if the product is not limited to 32 bit, signed multiply and unsigned multiply also work differently. Therefore, we have signed and unsigned multiply instructions for obtaining a 64 bit product. Here are logical instructions. Logical operations are performed at the level of individual bit. For example, bitwise and performs the logical and operation on each pair of the corresponding bits in two source operands. This slide shows shift and rotation instructions. There are two ways to shift right, logical shift right and arithmetic shift right. The logical shift right fills zero in new position when each bit is moved to the next lower bit position. During the arithmetic shift right, all newly created bit positions are filled with a copy of the original sign bit. There are two rotation instructions, rotate right and extended rotate right. Their difference is that whether the carry bit is in the rotation loop. There are no rotate left instructions. Rotate left can be achieved by rotating right. In addition, there is no corresponding rotation operators in the C language. Here are two instructions that copy data from one register to another register. In this example, the MVN instruction takes the value of the source operand R1, flips every bit in this value, and then saves the results into the destination register R0. In all examples presented so far, we use a register as the second source operand. However, ARM Cortex-M allows the second source operand to be very flexible. It can be a register, a constant value, also called a meter number, or a register shifted by an immediate number. As shown in this figure, 
the second source operand can optionally use the barrel shifter, which is a digital circuit that can efficiently perform these five shift or rotate operations. The barrel shifter can shift or rotate a register by any specified number of bits in one clock cycle. In the following, we'll show you three examples in assembly. Setting a bit, clearing a bit, and toggling a bit. Let's first look at how to set bit 5 in a 32-bit value. The bit number starts with 0. This is the C implementation. Assume the value of A is stored in register R0. In the first solution, we initialize the register R4 to 1, then shift it by 5 bit, and finally use bitwise OR to set bit 5. The second solution uses the barrel shifter. It uses less instructions than the first imitation and accordingly runs faster. Here, we give three assembly solutions to clear B5. The first two solutions use the bitwise inverse operation and then an AND instruction to clear B5. The last solution uses bit clear instruction BIC to clear select bits in the first source operand register. For each bit in the second source operand, a 1 clears the corresponding bit in the first source operand. The last example shows the sampling solution of toggling bit 5. The solution uses bitwise exclusive instruction EOR. If two bits are the same, the exclusive OR returns 0. If they are different, exclusive OR returns 1. Therefore, if a bit is exclusive OR with 1, this bit is toggled.